blessings and you wrap them up in stress by saying, I got to. You take all the stress off of it when you say, I get to. I'm telling you, it is an amazing game changer. If you're going to feed your destiny, you have to be careful who you spend time with. If you associate with the wrong people, they can feed you doubt, feed you negativity, feed you gossip. You're going to become like the people you hang around. Make sure that they have what you want. If they're negative, critical, they compromise, they don't have integrity, they're feeding you the wrong things. That's not on your diet. Life is too short to hang around people that are causing you to compromise, pulling you down. Your time is too valuable to waste it with people that don't have a dream, people that aren't going anywhere. You don't have to make some big announcement, but little by little, you should spend less and less time with them. Well, Joel, what if I hurt their feelings? What if they get upset? What if you miss your destiny? What if they're keeping you from going to the next level? When you come to the end of life, you won't stand before people. You will stand before God. He has entrusted you with a gift. You have an assignment. There's something for you to accomplish. You have a responsibility to become who God's created you to be. You have to take bold steps to protect what you're feeding. Those co-workers that are negative and critical, instead of going to lunch with them every day, the right attitude is, I love you, but I'm not going to hang around you because you're feeding me doubt, feeding me negativity, feeding me gossip. And